wind turbines changing the weather. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. It's no secret that humans can have a profound impact on the weather. The most recent debate over weather modification centers on the concept of global warming, now often referred to as climate change. Deforestation can affect weather patterns, and humanity's unending search for resources has also wrought lasting damage on the environment, whether through accident, such as an oil spill, or through design, such as strip mining. To some, wind power provides a clean, reliable alternative to conventional fuel. Yet critics believe there's more to wind turbines than the mainstream will admit. Sure, the turbines pose dangers for bats and birds, but what about people? Here's where it gets crazy. Critics of wind power, like Australia's Wabra Foundation, allege that the turbines pose serious risk ignored by the mainstream, specifically that people within 10 kilometers of turbine developments experience hypertension, heart attacks, tinnitus, and more, sometimes called wind turbine syndrome. This group of conditions remains controversial in medical circles. Experts can't agree whether or not it actually exists. If it does exist, then one of the possible culprits could be infrasound, and whether turbines produce this in meaningful amounts is yet another subject of debate. Aside from alleged health problems, it appears that turbines really can affect the weather, at least on a local level. Research using data from NASA's Aqua and Terra satellites found that the lands around wind farms had a higher ground temperature than other areas. Li Ming Shu, the head scientist conducting the study, notes that this effect may occur simply because the turbines are stirring the air, mixing warm and cold air during the evening. While this is a measurable effect, it doesn't seem severe. But what about the alleged effects on health? The symptoms of wind turbine syndrome closely match those of chronic sleep loss, and newer wind turbines have sound dampening equipment to minimize the noise. As for the Wabra Foundation, the organization is not without critics. Wabra and its members have been called a front group for mining interests, astroturf for the Australian landscape guardians, and more. Additionally, Wabra's opponents have accused the group of working for business concerns while pretending to be a balanced organization. This creates a situation with two opposing allegations. One side believes that turbine health risks are being suppressed, while the other accuses Wabra of outrageous dishonesty. Both, however, can agree on one thing. When it comes to wind turbines, there's something they don't want you to know. One warm, muggy day in May, the forecasters in the Kansas City Center became concerned about conditions in an area to the southwest. These men have a heavy responsibility. They cannot needlessly alarm the public. But when loss of life may be possible, their duty is clear. <laughs> 